Hello everyone, my name is Captain. Welcome back to the channel. Another seven days that I have video. I'm doing all this in Alpha 19, and this is an experimental build 154. Just in case they decide to change something with a little bit more of a stable release. One of the things they added that I didn't show off in my preview video is that now some of the items in the game have these sprites, as they call them here. These little bouncing icons to give you an idea as to where in the world your item went in the world. As you can see, the spears have them, little blinking yellow icon indicating a spear. It's got an on-screen display right there, shows you exactly how far away it is. You can see above the compass at the top that the spear icon shows up there, and they even show up on your map. So that way you don't really have a chance in hell of losing your spear. Same thing with your bedroll, shows up here on the compass and on the map. But this isn't something you can go under like the UI and turn on or off yet. It's not something they've put in the game just yet. And a lot of people that I've talked to said they wish they wouldn't have put this in the game or they wish it would have been an option. And people are asking for them a way to be able to turn it off. Right at the moment there's not. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of how to edit the specific file that you need to. And you can completely disable this so it doesn't show up in the game. So let's get over there real quick and I'll show you how to edit it. Okay, first things first is you need to be able to find the file. If you don't know how to get to the configuration files for 7 days that I'll show you real quick at the top, you're going to look as to wherever you have it installed. For me, I have it on a separate drive, so it's going to show up as G here, but if you just left everything as default, then this is going to be under your C drive. Then you go under Software, Steam, Steam Apps, Common Files, 7 days to die. And then once you're inside here, you're going to see a folder called Data, and the one that's called Config. Now what you're going to be looking for is a file right here, this nav objects XML. Before you get started, I would highly advise you either make a copy of this file and save it somewhere else or do like I did here and just go right click, send to and do compressed file. And what that'll do is it'll just make a backup of it. That way if you start messing with the code and you're trying to do something and you get a line off or whatever, it doesn't completely crash the game. I am not responsible. If you change the code in here and it borks your game, go ahead and make that disclaimer real big on the screen. I'm not responsible. If you mess it up, restore to your previous backup. All right, that being said, all you have to do is right click it and go to edit. And this is going to open it up either WordPad or Notepad or whatever you have. Chances are probably going to be WordPad and that works fine. Okay, now if you don't know anything about coding, that's completely okay. You can absolutely do what we're going to do here with zero coding experience. It's not a big deal. But in this file is where all the code is that the game runs to figure out which kind of sprites to use for which items. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look for the item you're going to mess with. So we're dealing with the spear. So I just did control F for the find box. Look for spear. And it's going to be the first word highlighted down here. All right, so the beginning of every single grouping of code that has to do with each item is going to start off the same way. This nav object class name equals, and then the name of what you're messing with in, in quotation marks. If you go down just a little bit further to look at the next one, just for giggles to see what I'm talking about, you'll see this one says vending machine. So if you had a player vending machine, this is where the code would go for that one. But just wanted to show you guys what it looks like here. So this is all the code for the spear. Right here, everything that you see on here is for the spear. Now, there's three different sections under each one of these. You're going to see one that says map settings. It's going to go all the way down to right here. Compass settings is going to go down to right here. And the on-screen settings. As you can see, the beginning of every chunk of code has the name of it, and then it has the end of every name of it. You see this little backslash here. This means it's like this is the end of the code block. Up here, this is the beginning of the code block. Do keep that in mind, because that is important. Every piece of code has to have an opening and a closing, or a beginning and end, a start and a finish. If you comment out the wrong line while we're doing this, the game will be like, hey, there's an opening, there's no closing, I don't know what to do, and you'll start getting errors. So just make sure you start clicking in the right spot. All right, so you can go through and completely remove the icon entirely, or you can be selective as to which ones you want to do. And what I mean was, if you want to hide the spear from the compass, and the on-screen settings, but you want to leave it on the map. Just in case you chuck it off into the abyss and you want to be able to find it, you can hide it specifically. You don't want to do just for all of them. I'll show you how to do it for each one individually or for the entire grouping here. Now, as I was saying earlier, what you want to make sure you do when you're messing with the coding is you don't want to accidentally get rid of an end to a beginning. So right up here, what we have here is this nav object class name. Now down here we have the same thing, this nav object class name. You can see it's got the backwards bracket here. This is the end of this code set here. So what you want to make sure you do is all the code goes above this. So the best thing I can suggest is right up here at the end of the on-screen settings, click out to the right of it and just hit enter a couple times. 
the game code ignores blank lines of text here so it's not going to do anything by adding a whole bunch of blank space there it makes it easier for you to see what's going on so let's say you want to get rid of just on the map settings for now so what you need to do is just on a blank line somewhere above the map settings what you're going to do is you're going to do an open bracket then you're going to do exclamation point dash dash that is the beginning code to tell XML to completely ignore everything between this and the end piece of the code for there. The end of it is going to look like the same thing, but facing the other direction. See, right now, this just comments out nothing, but this is what it's going to look like. I just wanted to show you guys what the code looks like to comment out the start and the end. So, we have it set up here to begin the commenting out for the map settings. So, what you want to do is go under here between the map settings to add another couple blank lines just so you can see what's going on now to end that you'll do dash dash close bracket so now you have open bracket telling it to ignore the comments and close bracket so now when the game runs everything between these two is going to ignore so that will hide the icon from just the map if you wanted to hide everything from the map and the compass then you would remove that and you go down here under the compass settings again here's the end of the compass settings code and add a couple blank lines, dash dash, close bracket. And now you have two sets of code here, the map settings and the compass settings that it's going to completely ignore. And this will allow just the on-screen settings here. If you want to get rid of all three of them, get rid of that close bracket there, go down to the end of on-screen settings, add a couple of blank spaces, dash dash, close bracket. Now what you have here is an entire grouping of code that it's going to ignore. And so you have, it'll basically load up, object name spear, look in here, uh, there's no code, oh, okay, in that object, move on to the next one. And that's pretty much it. So we have the open comment here, close comment here, everything is here. Now make sure you save it before you close it out. And let's get back into the game and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, and we're back in the game now, and you can see that the spears no longer have icons here. So even if you pick it back up and throw it again, you don't have the icon here. It doesn't show up as a bouncing sprite on the screen. It's not on the compass up there, and it is not on the map, but you can see the bedroll still does. So if I wanted to comment out the bedroll so that it didn't show up on the compass up there, but I wanted to see the icon here, the little sprite as they call it, and on the map, I could leave that alone. Now, I know doing stuff like this can be kind of confusing to people, and I, I completely understand if you're a little bit nervous about messing with the files, and hopefully they will add the ability to toggle this kind of sort of thing on and off in the options very, very simply. But for the moment, this is pretty much the option you have, is to just comment that section out in the options here. Me personally, I don't have anything against having the icons here, but I know I've had a lot of people say that kind of throws off the immersion and they're just not a big fan of it. And I get it. You know, people like to have their own style of game. It's better to opt in than to have to opt out. So anyway, hopefully this helped you out. Of course, if you have any questions, you can drop in the comment section and I'll see if I can help you out or some of the more awesome people of Cap Nation can help you out if I don't get to it quick enough. But again, I don't expect you to have the working knowledge of coding. But to be able to comment something out in the code is not too terribly complicated. But do let me know if you have any questions or problems. If you found the video useful, do me a favor and leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Help grow Cap Nation a little bit bigger. Thank you guys so much for all your time. You have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.